Our media horror opening uses and challenges forms and conventions of real media in many ways. We use some conventions from other horror movies to influence ours, such as a typical scene in a graveyard. Horror movies tend to have creepy locations, such as a graveyard, because that is where people die, and so it is scary, as people may think ghosts are there, or people come back from the dead, or consider other horror movies and think of zombies. Additionally, the lighting in horror movies is typically dark and dusky, as it gives off a dull, gloomy and mysterious atmosphere. When places are dark, you can't really see what is going on, and so by having dim lighting, it can make the audience fearful, as they would think something is there that they can't see when they hear sounds. We decided we wanted to add a tint of blue to the opening to make it seem more like a dream. Furthermore, it makes it more mysterious, as in real life we don't really see blue lighting. We got the inspiration from the movie The Shining, as there is a scene where it is blue and it gives off a mysterious, abnormal and creepy atmosphere. Adding on, other conventions of horror movies include bad weather, as when there is loud and gloomy weather, it makes the audience more scared, as thunder is very loud and lightning could injure you. Additionally, dull atmospheres such as rain can make people feel dull themselves as they associate the sun and brightness with happiness and the dark and rain with sadness. The next convention we used from horror movies is the idea of a chase going on. We got inspiration from the film Cabin in the Woods. This movie expresses an unknown chasing people in a forest. Additionally, we got an idea of forest-like font writing for our opening titles from the movie Cabin in the Woods. We like this font because it linked to the idea of the film and locations. In the wrong turn, we like the idea of the antagonist being a creature and not a human, as it makes it seem more daunting because we know what humans can do, whereas if it's a creature, no one really knows what he or she is capable of. The idea came from the movie Nightmare on Elm Street as it is about teenagers meeting a disfigured midnight mangler in their dreams and pursues to kill them in their awakening life. We changed it around a bit so we just had one girl rather than a group of teenagers as it seems more overwhelming and additionally the creature doesn't. It haunts her in her dream to make her almost kill herself in real life. For deciding whether the main victim should be a female or male, we saw the movie Scream from 1996 and the victim is a female. This makes the situation more intimidating as females are stereotyped as fragile, so if they get hurt, they will feel more pain. Furthermore, the female victim is a child. We got this idea from the movie Insidious as their victim is young. By having a young victim makes the audience more startled and anxious as children are seen as delicate and vulnerable. We didn't want the victim as young as the child that is in Insidious, but we didn't want her to be a teenager either or an adult, so we decided to get someone who looks younger to play the character of the 12-year-old. Insidious also inspired us in other ways, as it has an alternative universe and is not in reality, so we decided we would have two worlds. There would be the dream world and real life, so there is a contrast.